the colors of evil is definitely unpredictable the animation style i love and the character of Vivian, I adore. This is a 2012 animation directed by Elise Miller and Philip Simon, and it's about a young girl called Vivian, who is a stereotypical goth, and this nasty girl is making fun of her after they get off of the school bus. This other girl is kind of representing a stereotypical blonde girl who only cares about her looks and who doesn't care about other people. And she's making fun of Vivian, so Vivian decides to get revenge in a very demonic way. But what happens is, as I said, unpredictable and, and very unexpected. And because of that, it's quite delightful. It's weird. It's wonderful. The character of Vivian, I, I, I relate to her. She speaks to me so much. And the animation quality is just stunning. I absolutely love it. Visually, it is gorgeous. The narrative is a lot of fun. It's, you know, very in, in, inspiring in some ways and one that I really thoroughly enjoyed. The whole thing is less than five minutes, and I think you'll enjoy it. It's definitely one that I would recommend, particularly if you can relate to the protagonist, because I feel like she's a bit of a kindred spirit in some ways. Not that I'm saying I'm going to do anything demonic, that's absolutely not what I mean, but the kind of whole dressed in black, being made fun of for being a little bit peculiar, being a social outcast, um, that aspect of it. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think of it, if you kind of had any idea about the direction it was going to take, try and not read anything about it online before you watch it if you can, because I think that's probably the best way to go into it. That's how I went into it, and I think I really enjoyed it. I did. I had a lot of fun with it. The Colours of Evil is an absolute delight.